Всем привет, my name is Vika, and today I wanted to talk with you guys about some principles, or you may call them tips, that might help you to organize and minimize all the files, apps, mails, different clutter that we all have on our computers, phones, or other devices. First of all, unsubscribing. Honestly, I really enjoy unsubscribing option. There is a big chance that one day you'd notice that your email box is actually flooded with hundreds of emails from random websites, companies, influencers, and others. They can be from websites that you've visited only once or from businesses that you actually like. But let's be honest, do you really read all of these emails from all of these brands, even favorite ones? And even if you do, are they really that necessary to you? Emails can be informative and interesting, but most of the time they are just another source of distraction. Copywriters from different brands write them to make us buy more things than we need and to get our attention when we actually have, I'm sure, uh, have much better things to do than reading all of these emails. And they simply make a complete mess in our email boxes, so the option to unsubscribe from them is a wonderful tool. Also, unsubscribing from people or brands that we follow on Instagram is a good thing to reduce the amount of content that you're not really interested in. Just go through all of your subscriptions and think if this person's photos really matter something to you, or do you really want to see these brands, promo videos and pictures in your feed? Are you really that interested in this blogger's life? Don't feel ashamed when you unsubscribe from someone that uh, you used to communicate with, but don't communicate with anymore. It's an absolutely okay thing to do. And you can really decrease the amount of time you spend on Instagram and the amount of uninteresting content you consume if you simply downsize the amount of your subscriptions. Delete everything that you don't need right away when you see it. Don't think that you'll do it next time, it doesn't work like that. Delete it right away, it's easy, it doesn't take much time. Photos, videos, music, random folders, apps, texts, chats, like literally everything that you don't need, don't use or aren't interested anymore should go into trash right away. Organizing goes kinda close with deleting. The more organized systems you have, less digital clutter you will accumulate and less work it would take next time to go through things you want to declutter. Organizing helps you to easily find things you want, to reduce the amount of stress and to feel real control over what's going on on your devices. Things like making folders for everything, dividing stuff by categories, or creating convenient profiles for every app I'm using makes me really satisfied with how my devices work. Everything that I can keep out of my computer or of my phone, I keep out. This way I always have plenty of empty storage uh, on my devices and I feel more light and clear while I use them in general. I'm also not afraid of losing my photos or other information if my phone breaks because they are mostly in other places. Things like iCloud, Google Photos and other similar online storage places are very comfortable to use and you can get access to your files anytime you need. For people who don't trust online platforms or just prefer to use physical items, there are things like hard drives or hard disks and I use both online and offline options and they work really well together, so it helps me a lot with organizing my digital space too. Mute or hide are tiny buttons that I use all the time. For example, you can mute all the chats with messages that don't need your immediate response, so they won't disturb you. You'll check them later and it would be just fine. 
Hiding Instagram stories of different accounts is also a nice option if you want to see their posts from time to time, but stories aren't really interesting to you. Honestly, I have very limited amount of other people's stories on my feed thanks to that option and it saves me quite a lot of time while I'm scrolling Instagram and I rarely get disturbed by chat messages because they are mostly muted. <laughs> As you probably have already noticed, I don't like notifications in general, that's why I always say that turning most of them off is good for you. I turned off almost all of the notifications from all the apps except for a couple messengers and you can do that too if you feel that you get too many of them. Just think for a second, if these notifications really give important information to you that you read right away or if they make you do some actions right away or if they aren't really useful and just create extra distractions for you during the day. More regularly you clean and organize your digital space, less often you have to do that and easier it feels. Try to do simple tasks that take less than a minute uh, right away like unsubscribing, deleting, muting, putting something to the right folder, and so on. It can even turn into habit after some time, and this habit is sort of similar to cleaning the apartment. If you regularly do simple things like small decluttering or wiping the dust, then your place will stay clean and organized much longer. So it's pretty the same when it comes to digital space. Thank you guys for watching this small episode for my minimalism series. I've been very inspired for the last week to clean and organize uh, my digital space and my devices are usually pretty organized and clean but from time to time they need like a massive <laughs> decluttering anyway. So I've been doing that for the last week most of the time and decided to share some of the principles that I follow like regularly uh, just in case some of you would be inspired to clean and organize their devices too. So thank you again for watching. I hope you liked today's video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye!